guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna swatch a bunch of like lipsticks, all the ones that I have. It's around, I'd say 30. So I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna be swatching them on my arm and I'm gonna be um, reviewing them at the same time and letting you guys know which ones are my favorite based on like the formula and stuff like that. So since I have like around 30, so much. I never realized I had that many until I put them all together for this video. But yeah, so I guess I'm gonna be um, switching my arms because it's gonna be a lot of um, swatches. So yeah, we'll see how this goes then. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off with Dose of Colors. This one is called Bear With Me. really really pink it's actually the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now I don't really like pink but um, this one's like an exception I guess this one is called truffle this one is my favorite one it's a little bit like the first one here but it has like a little more um, like a mauve tone to it. Next one is called Stone. Again, very similar. But it looks a little more um, like a pinkish. This next one's called, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, I think it's Desert Swede. I may be pronouncing it wrong, I'm not sure. This one is actually one of the newest colors that they came out with. This next one is Bury Me Too. This one was a really popular color. These are all the Dose of Colors Lego lipsticks that I own. I'd have to say my favorite one is Truffle, by far, definitely. But yeah, these are the swatches. I'd have to say um, Dose of Colors is one of my favorite formulas that they have out there. Definitely recommend you guys to check them out. I also have two Dose of Colors lip glosses, so I'm just going to swatch them in the same arm since they're Dose of Colors as well. This one is called Undressed. It's my favorite one. I really love nudes. So this is like my, probably my favorite lip gloss from them. This other one is called Toxic. This is like a purple lip gloss. Really fun color to work with. Sorry about that messy swatch. Swatch as many as I can right here. These are all random brands. This one is Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood. This one is my favorite one, and Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks are one of my favorite formulas next to Dose of Colors. This one is LA Splash in the shade OG Goalish. I don't really like LA Splash. I find it being really drying, and it's just not a good formula in my opinion. They should definitely work on it. This one is another LA Splash. This one's Innocent Vixen. This one's my favorite one that they have. It's like a pink. Very, very beautiful. This next one is the Kat Von D Lolita. Very popular shade. Gorgeous. This one is Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Veronica. Another very popular shade. Similar to Lolita, but it looks darker. This one is another LA Splash. This one is just goalish. The other one was OG goalish. This one is just goalish. I think this one is supposed to be the newer version. This one is more pink. 
Golish is or OG Golish is more gray. This next one is ColourPop in the shade Teeny Tiny. Very nice color. Really mauvey. This one is Lipland Cosmetics from the Amrezy collection. This is the shade Breezy. A really, really nude pink. The next one is from Anastasia in the shade Sepia. This one was also really popular. This next one is from Gerard Cosmetics, the shade Ice Mocha. It reminds me a lot of Sepia. But you can see that the undertones are different. This one looks like it has more of a reddish undertone, where this one looks like more brownish gray. And the Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks, those formula, that formula is pretty good. I like it. This next one is ColourPop Shade Platform. Really nude color. Just like Reezy, but Reezy is a little more pink. This one's a little more peachy. This one is Stila in the shade Dolce. I think that's how you pronounce it. Dolce, right? Well, I'm just going to go with that. Very beautiful. I have like a few more, but I think I'm going to just move on to my next hand. Here are the swatches up close. I'm going to move on to my next arm now so I can clean this one off. I don't know if you can see, but there's still a little bit of pink right here from when I did my first swatches. So hopefully that pink won't get in the way, but almost done here. This next one is Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Aphrodite. Like a peachy color and then Anastasia in the shade Heathers like a dark red reminds me of Jeffree Star Unicorn Blood and then Ofra Cosmetics one of my other favorite lip lipsticks this one's in the shade Pasadena I know the swatches are messy, but it's okay as long as you can see the color, right? This one is Trust Issues from Anastasia. And we have Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin, very popular shade. Then we have Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Americano. Now the last ones I have are Anastasia lip glosses. So I have a lot of lip glosses, so I think I can make them fit down here. Let me just grab them. Okay. This one is Anastasia Gilded. This one looks very beautiful if you put it on your lips. For example, I would put it right here in the middle and then go like that or just pat it and it looks really pretty and it can make your lips look more plump. So this is going to be a weird swatch. It's going to look really um, orange but if you look at it in person it looks really glittery. It looks different in person than on camera. The camera just picks it up really weird so just ignore that. This one is Black Cherry. Keep in mind, these are all lip glosses from Anastasia. And then we have Weekend Barbie. Very, very pink. And we have Sunset Strip. really weird swatch but you know they're lip glosses they're not supposed to be um, look like this 
This one is metallic rose. It's kind of hard to make them swatch perfect, well not perfectly, but it's a swatch like this. This one's undressed. I like this one, it's really pretty. And finally, the last one is called Dainty. These are all the swatches. So all the way from here to here, lip glosses. From this red up here are all liquid lipsticks. So I'm just gonna clean it up. So hard to clean it up, but that just shows you that these liquid lipsticks stay on really, really good. So you can already tell that the brands that I used the first time, or not the first time, but you know the liquid lipstick brands that I used up here, pretty much all of them, stay on really nicely. They don't come off really easily, which you don't want. But I mean, if you're doing swatches like me, it gets frustrating. It makes your arms really pink so that's it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video